If you can't kill a boss, no reason why you can't look like one. Moogle, putting the wow in transmogs. Head over to Isle Expeditions if you want to randomly get a shot at these shoulders, or you could just step up, buy it on the auction house. Keep in mind, the shoulders are going to get cheaper and cheaper as we progress towards the end of BFA, and don't think it's going to be that much gold. The good thing about those pieces that you can buy is, let's say you want the shoulders and the gloves, but you get the legs or the chest. You could always sell the legs or the chest to, get to buy the shoulders and the gloves, so it might be worth doing from that perspective. The belt, Throne of Thunder, LFR. Kind of a hard drop rate to get that one, but of course that is pure shaman, says shaman. The legs are from Well of Eternity, uh, which is a drop set from Kata. Uh, also Well of Eternity for the chest, just two different bosses, so you can do that once a day. The feet, Head Shrinker's Boots, part of the same drop set from Isle Expeditions as the shoulders. I'm not sure if that color drops from a good old dragon soul I'm not 100 percent sure it might or you have to maybe check wowhead for that head shrinkers grips so the head shrinker set is the shoulders the gloves as well as the boots the rest is a mixed match uh, crimson silk cloak vanilla level tailoring check your local tailor check your local auction house for that kind of crimson cloak and the head one eye patch cape of strangle thorn our mortal enemies are there any other kind of enemies i ask the weapon really looking good for this this is throwing thunder lfr lyshen i think this is kind of for a resto shaman just because of the kind of tealish green look wrathful gladiators male shoulders i do think the raffle set across the board generally speaking wrathful pvp set from wrath of the lich king one of the better sets for most classes generally speaking also i feel that same way about the tyrannical set formidable just chest plate formidable chest plate which is at azul for rock where you can buy it uh i'm not even going to pronounce burgle girdle i think that's correct isle expeditions check your local isle expedition or your local auction house for the girdle the legs formidable formidable leggards winter spring various mobs or you could just step up by it on the auction house which i do believe is the best way to go now we have a cult here and dude who's showing the feet Merkle boots isle expeditions so the belt the boots and the bracers are all from isle expeditions as you can see the wrist Merkle bindings yep got that Merkle good old murloc look to this set but it's better than a murloc look i think it's got a snazzy look for a resto shaman now we have a lady uh making good use out of the one eye patch here uh cape of strangle thorn it's a quest reward the tab is it tabard or tabard i know it's tabard <laughs> i looked it up that's the correct american english way to pronounce it tabard might be the brit way and the weapon grievous gladiator prideful if you're horde if you're wondering why the Zondalari troll is going to battle without a weapon, the answer is simple. The weapon is alliance only, and the add-on I use wouldn't show his weapon. So you're going to have to find some kind of blue staff or blue fist weapon or mace, whatever it is that you want to use, depending on what spec you are. Cruel Combatant's ring mail. Matter of fact, this set is pretty much alliance because the chest and the legs and the boots are uh, alliance only. Uh, the belt, uh, life cycle waist guard. This is from Blackwing Descent Heroic, which of course is Kata. Magma is the boss. 8% on the drop rate. So the worm carries the belt. If that makes any sense, let me know. Cruel Combatant's Ringmail Kilt. We're looking at Legion PvP vendor, Marks of Iron. You gotta buy the whole set if you don't have the set. Maybe you have these pieces, but that's the way it works now. I put Marks of Honor down there because eventually, for the feet, the legs, and the chest, things might change in the future where you can buy individual pieces. The hands, and that, there you see, now you see the weapon. There it is. It's Alliance only. Uh, Heart of Fear, Blade, Lord, Taya, kind of a fair drop rate for the hands. Kind of matches the tier set uh, for the shoulders. Now we got a goblin. Once again, she's horde, so she can't have a weapon. Uh, Battle of Dazzlehar. Uh, you can see where the drop is. And the head, Hood of Dark Dreams. So the head, the shoulders, and I do believe the gloves are from the same tier set from Kata. 
And the weapon is BFA PVP Sources Corrupted Gladiator Staff. This entire set is almost from Warlords of Drain All the Fun, but from different sources. The shoulders, the gloves, the belt, the boots, they're all from Hellfire Citadel, various bosses, various drop rates, heroic mode to get those. The chest, Blackrock Foundry heroic, as well as the legs from a couple of different bosses. That's kind of just your typical raid drop set there. And, of course, the belt, which we said, Hellfire Citadel Heroic, Iron Reaver, 13% shot to get. The Torch Brazed Waste Guard. Looks really epic on a Jernai Lady. Probably looked good on a Jernai Dude, too. Legs, Corrosion Proof Laggards, Blackrock Foundry Heroic, Rio Cookie is the boss, 19% on the drop rate. Not sure if I got the boss right. Uh, Shore-footed chain treads. Hellfire Citadel Heroic Shadow Lord Iskar. 13% on the drop rate for that. Now we're going to move on to the hands. Mitts of Eternal Famishment. Talking about being very hungry. Hellfire Citadel Heroic. Gorfina is the boss. Sticking with the Kul'Tiran dude. Maybe not. Going right back to the Jedi Lady. Flame Licked Cloak of the Kaifa Bird. We're looking at Tanan Jungle. Various mobs or something that can easily be bought on the auction house. Live Link Helm, which is really a headpiece. It's more like a neck brace. Skyreach Ranjit is the boss. The weapon looks great with this set. Portal Ripper Staff, Shadow Moon Burial Grounds is the place. Are Dark Iron Dwarves made of iron or they look like iron? Not really sure. Gladiators Ringmail Spalders will be the shoulders. Netherstorm BC PvP Vendor. Three marks of honor to pick up the shoulders. So the shoulders and gloves and boots all part of a BC PvP set for Shaman. The chest, you either have it or you don't at this point. Uh, eventually you'll be able to buy it from Marks of Honor. That would be Alliance only. The belt is Atal Dazar Heroic. 5% drop rate for the Cincher of Glittering Gold. So that's pretty easy to pick up. Now the legs, part of the same PvP set as the chest. Alliance only PvP sources. At this point you either have it or you don't. Eventually, I'm pretty sure, you can buy it from Marks of Honor. Moving on and showing a Tauren with the feet, Vindicator's Linked Sabatons. Netherstorm, BC PvP Vendor, two marks of honor for the boots. And doing the spin and showing the cloak, which we'll get to in a second. But first, the hands, Gladiator's Linked Gauntlets, Netherstorm, BC PvP Vendor, two marks of honor to pick up the old school gloves. Now we're going to go to the cloak, and the back is... Loa Exultant's Shroud. Battle of Dazzle Ahar, as you can see, the boss, 9% drop rate. Headpiece, Atal Dazar Mythic, Yasma, 5% drop rate for the head. And last but not least, the weapon, which is a staff, out of Waycrest Manor. Ghoul Rock Tool is the boss. Well, this should be pretty easy to pick up, uh, with the exception of one piece. Uh, the Shadowborn Shoulder Guards are Terrace of the Endless Spring, 10% shot. To pick them up, I do believe there's a crafted version as well. That would be Cata, not Cata, excuse me, Mop Level Leatherworking. The chest is a quest reward from Razor Fen Downs. That's something you might already have. Now, this is the difficult piece. I've been, I've been trying to get this piece forever. I still don't have it. And I try in about three or four different tunes. Terrace of the Endless Spring is the place like she is the boss for that particular belt not easy to get uh the legs electrified leggings zul farak a fool's errand it's a quest reward so two dungeon rewards vanilla level dungeon rewards there now we're moving on to a cult here and dude mind strainer treads dragon soul this boss who just can't sleep marks of honor is incorrect to pick that up that's just a drop rate and made a boo-boo there look at that cloak looks excellent wild combatants armband of prowess you could go with a gray armband as well i kind of went with the brown one here but you could go with a gray one that works just as easy but it's easier to get those brown ones and the uh, cloak is cloak of hideous unity hellfire citadel lord zakun is the boss good drop rate on that the head hood of dark dreams heart of fire or heart of fear would be correct heart of fire is a 
Brian Adams song. Uh, <laughs> the weapon, uh, Corrupted Gladiator Staff. You can't see it on the horde because Clark can't use it. My name is Luxley. I want to thank everybody for stopping by, tuning in, and leave you with this final thought. Whatever it is by you, whether it's morning, afternoon, or night, make it epic.